The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, the junior novelization. Chapter 10. Many miles away in the palace of King Poseidon, ruler of the seven seas, the king's chancellor, called Chancellor, was hurrying through a long, ornate hall. Old paintings of former kings and queens hung on the walls. Chancellor paid the paintings no mind. He'd seen them before, and right now he was being called by the king. Chancellor! Chancellor! The king expected his closest advisor to come running any time his ruler called for him. Chancellor pushed through a pair of double doors into a gaudy room, or the king did whatever he could to look his very best. At this moment, Poseidon was sitting in front of a large mirror with a gold frame admiring himself. <gasps> you sent for me, Saya? Chancellor Puff. C C Chancellor asked, puffing, a bit from running. Chancellor, Poseidon said proudly without taking his eyes off his own reflection. Look at me, three thousand years old, and check out my skin. It's like a baby's butt. Ageless, sire, ageless, Chancellor agreed. I owe it to my subjects to look fabulous, don't you think? Poseidon asked. There are other obligations, sire, Chancellor gently reminded him, like ruling and stuff. Poseidon ignored his comment. Time may take its toll on other kings, but not me, he smirked, because I care. I care about my appearance, and I take pains to maintain it. And he noticed something in the mirror and leaned forward. Wait, is that a wrinkle? The king frantically snatched a snail. Uh, the king frantically snatched a small hand mirror off the counter in front of him to get a closer look. <gasps> it is! It is a wrinkle! Ah! I look like an old avocado that's been forgotten in the fridge! No, I'm ugly! Desperately searching through his skincare products, he wailed. Oh no! Oh no! Where is it? The crawly thing with the round shell in the eyes! Where is it? Chancellor stepped toward King Poseidon and held out a tray. On it was a very scared sea snail. Here you are, sire, he said. Your snail. Poseidon snatched the snail off the tray. Oh, thank you. This mollusk has the rejuvenating power of a thousand facials. Meow, said the frightened snail. The king rubbed the snail's underbelly against his face, but the snail left no trail of slime. Is it empty? Poseidon cried. He shook the snail like a bottle. Meow! The snail protested. Oh, take it away! The king commanded. A tigerfish rushed up and took the snail away. She opened the tube, placed the snail inside, and thunk! The snail was sucked down the tube. The snail landed in a dark dungeon. Looking around in horror, the creature saw it was filled with sickly, dried-out snails. Back up in the king's dressing room, Poseidon ordered, Bring me another snail at once! Chancellor yelled to the tigerfish, Another snail for his highness! The tigerfish ran in, whispered something in Chancellor's ear, and handed him a tray with a shell on it. Uh, here you are, sire. Chancellor said, holding the tray toward the king. Your snail. Thank you, Poseidon snapped impatiently. That took too long. He grabbed the shell off the tray and held it to his face. Meow, he yelped. He pulled the shell away from his face, leaving a hermit crab pinching his cheek. This isn't a snail. It's a hermit crab. He yanked the crab off. Homewrecker. The hermit crab said accusingly before scurrying off. I've executed people for less! Poseidon called after the crab. <clears throat> Chancellor decided to come clean. Oh, okay, he said taking a deep breath. Full disclosure, we are out of snails. In fact, the entire snail population has been depleted. King Poseidon looked puzzled. Boy! He raised his trident threateningly, ready to deal harshly 
with whoever had depleted who, who, whoever had depleted the snail population. Chancellor and the tigerfish exchanged a nervous look. They both knew it was King Poseidon himself with his mania for using the snail slime as a facial cream who had wiped out all the snails. But Chancellor doubted the monarch wanted to hear that. By a fluke? Chancellor said. A fluke? Poseidon said, confused. Yes, Chancellor affirmed, nodding his head vigorously. A fish very much like a flounder, your grace. I know what a fluke is! Poseidon roared. He tossed his titan aside. Chancellor, for the love of Hermes, my kingdom for a snail! He considered what he just said. No, half of my kingdom for a snail. Wait, no, a boon! I'll grant a boon to whoever shall bring me a snail! Poseidon, roll, Poseidon pulled out some parchment and a quill pen. I'll draw up the decree, sire. Stay tuned for chapter 11 coming up soon.